Hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So today I want to do a house tour. I've done an empty house tour before, but that was before I moved in. And now that I've moved in, everything's furnished. I changed a few things. I want to show you guys how it looks like right now. There's still a lot more things I want to do to this house. There will be more projects in the future, but we'll see. Anyways, without further ado, let's just jump right in. My first ever house tour. Let's get started. Okay, so guys, are you ready? Let's get started. Come on in. And this is the entrance. So we actually changed a few things already. There used to be two shoe cabinets on both sides. We kept one over here. I mean, I shouldn't really show you. Um, <laughs> so we have a shoe closet over here and over this side, we actually took it down and instead put a mirror right here. So now we can just like check ourselves out before we go out. And everything else is still really the same. And onto the grand reveal. Ta-da! And this is our living room. Just a warning, I'm going to be talking about how I love this house so much. Okay, so let's start on that side where things change the most. So this is the TV area. Again, I love it so much. So if you guys remember, we used to have like a big closet right here, but we took it down and instead we put up the TV. So we chose this like stony wall. We can turn the lights on and off. I don't know, I just think it looks really, really cool. I really did love the nook that we had before, but we really didn't have anywhere else to put the TV up. And I just love this TV, it's so big. It's like we're always watching movies in a movie theater. So over here we've got some cabinets, one piece, some sneakers because my partner loves sneakers. And um, guys, can you see this? Oh, hi, his name is Belle. Oh, hi -o. He is so precious. Hi, Lavi Jun. Oh. By the way, they're like best friends. Lavi is the best sister ever. Anyways, he is the newest addition to our house. Hi, hi. Oh. Lavi is just so adorable. And they've been literally so sweet to each other. Oh my gosh, this is like melting my heart. He's still a little puppy, so we don't take him out too much. But when we do, they're like best friends. Oh, you're such a good puppy. His name is Bell, and you might be seeing him a lot more from now. Oh, that's my mic. And as you guys know, this is Lavi, my puppy. My first puppy. Hi, you want to say hi to the camera? Hi. How are they so adorable? <laughs> so as you can see, we got this puppy area right here. And over here is Lavi's house. Oh, you don't want to look inside. <laughs> she loves collecting my clothes. Oh, we've got all these toys up here. You have a lot of toys, don't you? We spoil her so much. And we have Lavi's bed over here and her bathroom. Over here, we've got the water and some food dispenser. So honestly, this whole area is for my dog. It's like a puppy snick. And we have a sofa right here, which we love. Oh, look at this. So when you press this, oh, oh this feels so comfortable. It reminds me of Joey and Chandler from Friends. I just love this whole place. <laughs> I'm sorry, love you, Chan, but I need to get up. I can't get up anymore. Um, I guess I have to do the tour later. Why are you so cute? Okay, let's move on. So this is the TV area and over here is the dining area. So we got a high table because we don't want our dogs to like jump on top, which used to be a problem. So we got this like marble like countertop. We've got two seats, one for each of us. This is mine, this is his. And over here we have a piano. Ta-da! So um, this isn't for me, this is actually for my partner. He loves music, he's the musician of this house. And over here we got this cabinet and we currently don't have anything on top, but we are planning of like decorating this whole place. Maybe like cute Disney art. And oh yeah, we also added some curtains. So this is like a beigey white curtain with like beautiful patterns with a hint of gold. And we actually used the same exact curtains for our last place. So it's really nice to be reminded of the first place that we actually lived together. I'm so glad that we chose this curtain. And over here, we also installed this curtains. And I love how that it's like vertical. It just looks like more tall and spacious and really nice. Oh my gosh, I remember we had a fight on which curtain to use. We both wanted different curtains and we settled on this. And I'll show you guys the backyard later. Let's save it for last. So let's move on to the kitchen. 
So here is the kitchen, which I love so much. Again, I love everything about this house, but it's just so spacious and I love this island. By the way, we've had her for a few years now and she's been thriving. She used to only have like six leaves, but ever since we moved here, she has like 20 leaves. She's loving our new house. And I love the kitchen so much. Hopefully I can make a video here one day. What do you guys think? Like a cooking video? And I just really love how the counter is made for like short people. I'm four feet 10, maybe like four feet 9.5. I used to always be on my toes when I cook because I couldn't reach. And now I don't have to do that anymore. It's just so useful and I love it so much. So this shelf is something that I had from my last place and I don't like it how it's open. I wanna like hide all the stuff here. There's so many random stuff. So hopefully we could get like a new cabinet or a shelf in the future. And over here, we have the fridge, the pantry, kind of, the washing machine. Oh, hi, lovey junk. Hi. And this is our bathroom, which I can't really show you today. If you guys are interested, you can check out my empty house tour. It looks exactly the same as before, but we basically put in everything that we don't want to show you guys. Dirty laundry, random baskets, random stuff that I don't want to show you guys right now. So um, we're going to keep this closed. Anyways. We have a mirror right here, and I guess that's about it for this floor. Okay, so let's move on to the second floor. Want to go to the second floor? Okay, guys, come on up. So welcome to the second floor. And guys, if you remember, this is the master bedroom or my partner's room. This is the only room that I haven't touched, and I will not touch. It's just all his. And it looks something like this. So obviously this is the bed and it's a queen size bed and this is where I sleep like 90% of the time. Like at night before we go to sleep, I just like crawl into here and we have this stair for lobby so she could just like climb up to. She is a really smart girl. When it's time to sleep, she would just go to the bathroom and climb up by herself. Over here, I guess we have some storage and I love this ball. <laughs> It's like a light up moon ball. It's so pretty at night. Some books and a bookshelf and his desk. Oh yeah, he has a mic because he loves to sing. He's not like a professional musician or anything. He just loves singing. Oh, hi, lovey John. <laughs> hi. Ready to sleep? I would say this whole room is very him and I love it so much. And yes, he loves Kiropi. It's his favorite character. And um, I think that's it. Let's head over to my room. Oh, and by the way, we have these like wooden gates so I could keep Lobby out. Since I have my office right here and this is where I do my artwork and stuff, sometimes I would be playing with like really toxic stuff like resin or I could be like diamond art painting and I'll have like little diamonds everywhere. So sometimes I would just use this to keep her out, but let's open it because it's good for now. I cleaned, don't worry. So guys, these are my two rooms. So this is my office slash YouTube room and this is my bedroom. Okay, let's start with my office, which I'm sure you guys know. So yeah, this is my office, my YouTube room, whatever you wanna call it. This is where I make my videos. And if you guys are interested, I do have a whole video of me remaking this whole room. I painted the walls, I built the furniture. Yeah, it was a lot. So yeah, a quick tour. Here I have my Cricut, my printers. I have my most recent doll here. A lot of random creations like this. And in this shelf, I have a lot of like art related stuff, paint, cricket stuff, sublimation stuff, and a lot of books about arts and crafts. This is my closet. And here I have my Sailor Moon stained glass. If you guys remember from my last video, I just really love how it looks and it like fits perfectly right here. And onto the cabinets, more art related stuff inside here, more paint, glue, just like a lot of random stuff. And honestly, I just love the view so much. The sun is kind of setting right now, but it's so beautiful when it's like bright outside. Today's kind of a windy day. Here, I've got the big bear, Copic markers, and yeah. Okay, let's move on to my bedroom. So right across this room is my bedroom. And here we've got the golden egg from Harry Potter. You can actually open this. And it's an accessory holder. It's so convenient. I keep my jewelry in here. So practical, but I mean, it's the golden egg. I love this so much. So this is my bedroom.
So this is where I like to be when I want to be alone or when I want to like edit videos. It's really comfy, but it is a really small room. It's really small. So here I've got my desk and this is a really cute Sailor Moon mirror. And I just like writing down some... <laughs> Hi, lovey John. You're like everywhere we go. So yeah, um, I like writing down some tasks because like a mirror makes a great whiteboard and I just like checking them off. I've got some notebooks and stuff, my diaries, which I can't show you guys, some pens, a picture of us, and just like things that mean a lot to me. For example, this mini lamp is so precious. It's actually a real Disney prop. It was apparently used in one of those like Disney hotels. And this thing from Seoul, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I mean, it's a little bit too tall for like pens and it's so skinny, so I don't know how to use this. So I just have it like right here. But Seoul means so much to me. And again, I do have a video of me making this whole room if you guys are interested. But this is a Cinderella sheet. Nabi-chan. Oh, she has my hair tie. But yeah, I do have a stool right here so Lobby could jump up onto my bed whenever she wants to. Yeah, like that. And it's just really nice to have an extra bed whenever I want to like sleep separately. For example, he's been sick and I've been sick for a while now. So I've been like sleeping here for the past week. And when his mother came to visit, she stayed in this room. So it also doubles up as a guest bedroom. And this is the closet from Ikea, which was a nightmare to build. But it basically stores all my clothes. And oh yeah, here we have the bathroom. So we didn't really change anything inside here, but we did get the storage where I store all my makeup. This is where I get ready in the morning. So I got some like makeup containers, a beauty blender, and just makeup that I use all the time. We are not really fond of this wallpaper or this whole vibe in general. So hopefully I can make over this room someday. I think I said that I want to make it Alice in Wonderland themed last time. And hopefully that is happening. I just want to clear things and say that Alice in Wonderland is actually his favorite childhood movie. Guys, don't worry. He loves Disney just as much as I do. Just clearing things up. And like I said, I'm not done with this house at all. There's so many things that I want to do. For example, I've got all these artworks from Disney. What do you guys think? I love them so much. So here's one from Seoul, Fantasia, Lady from Lady and Trump, Alice in Wonderland, Pinocchio, Ariel, and last but not least, Aladdin. It's so interesting that I've never really been interested in artworks until I got my own house. Now that I have my own house, I want to just get all these artworks. And all these movies have like really deep meanings with my partner. And I mean like Lady, she reminds me so much of Lavi. So adorable. So yeah, a lot of precious memories. So, what do you guys think? We still need to get like a frame and everything. And I'm not sure where to put what yet. Ooh, have it like right here. One right here. That's nice. I kind of want to put this up on my bathroom. This will be over there where the dogs are. Yeah, there's just like a lot more decorating to do. Oh, this is going to be so fun. So my room's check. I think we're done on the second floor. So we actually have one more floor and the stair is right there. Come on up. Oh wow, it's so hot up here. It's so humid. But again, this is my favorite place of this house. So we have a jacuzzi! This is what sold me the house. Well, kind of. It's definitely one of the features that I love so much about this house. It's such a nice jacuzzi with a great view. Like, look at this view! Isn't it wonderful? I love how you can look at nature while taking a bath. Like, we don't really have neighbors. The closest neighbor is like a block away. And with those blinds up there, no one can really see us up here. It's literally better than any hot springs that I've been to. We took bath here a couple of times already and we love it so much. Our stress just like goes away. I mean, honestly, just being here makes me very happy. We put a table and chairs right here, but we're not done yet. There's a lot more we want to change here. For example, I want to put like a little bit more blinds up, like bamboo sticks or something. And we still have like this whole big area still. So maybe like next year, it'll be like a whole different vibe. So this is my third floor. And last but not least, Let's go back to the first floor and check out the yard. And guys, are you ready? The reveal. Ta-da! And again, I love this backyard. 
I'm so excited to show you guys all these new furniture. We actually just got these. Oh, look at this. I love this so, so much. Oh, by the way, you could actually untie this. And here's the little roof. So I mean, if it's like too hot or something, you could just put this up and it protects you from the sun. Let's put it down because we don't really need it right now. Like the tables and everything came together, but all for a set, it was like 350 or something. So really not too bad. And it's quite comfortable. I love it. I could just like lay down here and read manga or something. Although it's been really, really hot in Japan lately. So maybe like in another month or two. And here we have a fire pit, which double ups as a barbecue. I mean, I haven't used it as a barbecue yet, but you could. Maybe one day. Everything is so pretty. And I mean like this backyard, I just love, love so much. I could literally dance here. I could do anything here. It's so, so spacious. This is so special. And again, we just have like a beautiful scenery. I mean, granted, there's so many mosquitoes and so many insects and bugs, but I mean, it's a good thing. All we added is this soccer goal because my partner loves playing soccer. Yay. <laughs> Sometimes if I feel too stressed, I would just like walk around here. It's like a good walk, honestly. Lots of good nature, fresh air, no neighbors, and we get a lot of cute visitors here and there. So I guess that's basically the whole tour. But wait, we're not done yet. Let's come back out here when the sun sets because it's a whole different vibe at night. See you guys soon. So the trees are lit up and oh my gosh, everything is just so, so pretty. I mean like look at the nature. This is just like camping at night. It's super relaxing. <gasps> Expelliarmus! So we have this light that changes colors. You can turn it red, green, and yeah, it changes the whole mood. And hey, it's a full moon, or like almost a full moon. And I love it when the moon is out because you could actually see the trees. I mean, literally, this is like all I've ever wanted. Oh, this is so so nice guys. So this is what I can see from here. I mean, I have to say this is a 10 million dollar house for me. And I think I'm just gonna quit filming right here and call my partner to come. See you guys later.